and welcome to a small, very quick tutorial. I have decided that I will teach you how to use Encoder Pro, Encoder 4, to do some some very basic basic things like what I do, my recording. What I do is I have the whole package. I go on Encoder screen capture which I don't think will want to open because I'm using it at the moment so I don't know how I'm gonna get that sorted I just will yes I just will you'll probably get some screenshots and I'll talk about screenshots so what I'll do is I'll teach you what to do once you've got something so you open encoder, or you can click the uh, send to encoder button, which I'll show you in screenshots. And um, what we'll, what you do is, I've clicked on the wrong button, so it's done the wrong thing. You click on the button, and we don't want to do a live stream. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it does give you access to live broadcasting, which is obviously quite an awesome thing. Oops. That's my security software, um, which is obviously an awesome help. I don't want a live broadcast. Okay, it seem it seems to want to give me a live broadcast. New project, transcending code enables you. I think it's a transcending project I use. Transcoding. It is. It is. You want a transcoding project which will bring you to this screen which doesn't look hard to use but it is so uh, in this case because I don't have anything already here I click import and we don't want to look in output we want to look in screen capture output and it will give you all your different things YouTube cannot tolerate these items which is why we're using encoder because they're in a, a special format which is X ESC, which is the format this thing makes them in. You just double click or single click and click the button. Mine's having an error at the moment. You should get a display of the actual video. If I play it, hello, it's me. However, we don't see it because I think my NVIDIA driver is too advanced and doesn't have sufficient kind of ability to deal with it. So, what you do is you can click this button here and you can add in like bits to it so I'm going to pick that for no particular reason and you can go on the end and let's just say to be continued and it adds them in at the ends for you and then on some of my videos you'll notice it's beginning with Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 Pro and that's not because the software is putting it on, I'm putting it on because I think it looks quite cool and it shows off what I'm using to do that you uh, go to expression bumper which is in enhancements click apply and it will add some a little like few second thing on the front which does this and then it goes straight into it very relaxing music there you can also add a silver light trailer which adds it to the end of the video which looks like this. I did think of putting that in, but I don't use silver light. I don't know what sample overlay is. Let's just. Oh gosh, what is it? Oh, it lets me have an overlay. So if I have it for like that much of the video, Hello. oh, it'll display it on the video for me, and I can could have a really small one and put it in the corner. Today. That's quite cool. If you, if you like Microsoft, you can have all that. Now the main important bit is what you're encoding. Now you want to go into video, and you want it to say CRB one pass. I'm not particularly sure what the difference says. Just you want it to be a CRB one pass is the quickest and comes out quite nicely. You want the buffer window to be set to five seconds, frame rate to be set to source, keyframe source or 60 basically the best and you want keyframe intervals at 5 now this bits very important for the bitrate 
I use 50005 and that gives you 50 megabytes per second that is generally what you want I've not tried it higher or lower but that's a very good saying it's the one I use For size mode you either want to have it set to custom or source so my source is in this so I always have it in that which obviously makes this very small a very big one um, you want to check this box create separate file per stream not particularly sure what that does however it seems to work well and you want to make sure that this one is not ticked I repeat do not tick the four square pixel un unclick it it's not good audio you want CRB pass one again bitrate 96 kilobytes per second is good and sample rate of 48 channel is stereo I think always unless you've got some other options you want to use um, yeah if you've seen my sec my first video of our cantos the part two that's what happens that <laughs> noise is what happens if you go to that level so and then you want to go down here to the encode button so it then estimates an encoding time your computer will probably get very loud and it'll encode it for you I'll cancel that yep and uh, when it's encoded you can go into your your documents expression expression encoder output and it will be in one of these files it'll come out like this and there and it comes out as a Windows Media file if that's what you chose you could have chosen MP3 but I suggest capturing that and we get this very loud sorry about that I think this is something no one's seen yet because it's it's not to be uploaded till tomorrow so this is part two yeah, an exciting peak that's all you get and it'll have this file but just ignore that one it's only like 25 kilobytes large so just ignore it and when you're uploading to YouTube you just want to upload the Windows media file and it'll come out brilliantly um, I'll give you another tutorial about how I do more things such as my brilliant intros which are absolutely awesome and uh, yeah that's about it for, for this one I just wanted to give everyone a quick intro if they wanted to use it so see you later Allez voir